Hey guys, right off the bat, I apologize for the quality of this video. Um, my memory card is gone and I can't find it, so I can't shoot on my Nikon. Um, hopefully if I find it, I'll maybe redo this video or, you know what, I'll try to show you a better view of the heads and the shaft that I'm showing you today via, like, iPhone video. Maybe that's better quality. Um, so today, um... I'm going to show you um, a Jewel Rain shaft and a Brian A1 that I strung up. So basically, a while back before LaxCon, that I thought I was going to go to, but I never did, um, they got Jewel Lacrosse contacted me and asked if I wanted to like look at a shaft for them and maybe do a review on it. So obviously I said yeah, because why not, right? And um, yeah, I finally got it now. So I'm really super excited that I got it. Um, so it's like a pinkish jewel rain, if you can see that, ooh, ooh, on the br with the brine A1 that I just strung up. I really love this A1. Um, I dyed it up real nice and different, and um, yeah, I'm loving it. Um, okay, about the shaft. Um, the first thing I noticed was how light it is. I was really surprised. Um, <laughs> I'm used to playing with like a, a heavier shaft and field, like something with a little more weight. But it was super surprising when I took it out. The second thing I noticed was the end cap. I've never, never seen that. I don't know. It's kind of different. It's something new. Um, yeah. And then I also noticed like the feel of it. Um, it's definitely something because I'm used to playing with like like a little bit of a box shaft, kind of like the like aluminum feel to it. It's kind of got like a feel of a wood shaft, but not the weight of a wood shaft so it's definitely like it's a little different um the more i like play around with it um the more i kind of like it i like the way it just kind of like sits in my hand really well um the one thing i was concerned about um when i first got it was that i have bigger hands like i play box with like men's gloves in in a normal size like I think I'm a 12 or 13. So, like, I have big hands. And the one thing with um, women's shafts that I always had a problem with was um, the size. So, when I have my whole hand around it, it, like, cuts in. Um, the fun with this shaft, because it is, like, an oval shape, that it just sat. I don't know. There's something about it where I didn't have to have it tight. And it was kind of like my grip changes on it. Um... That was definitely something when we were throwing around the ball that was weird. Um, it took a little getting used to, but once I was used to it, it was kind of just like a different feel, like a softer feel. It wasn't like a like a big grip, like a power grip. It just like it felt really good. Um, yeah, it just kind of rests in your hand. Another thing that I liked it was um, the thickness, you know, the top of the shaft here. Um, really thick here, obviously for the head. And then um, right here is like the thickest part. So if you're taking draws, like for me, I'll, I like to have like one hand as close to head as possible. It might get moved back by the ref, like it depends how close you actually are. But I like having one hand really, really, really close to the head. I thought that the, the thickness there probably would help me in a game situation with draw control. Um, I haven't tried it out. But I think it would. I really think it would. Um, yeah. I really like the color. The design's pretty cool. One thing I wish I wish it was glossy. Um, it is kind of glossy, but it's still a little matte. Um, Color-wise, but... I wish it was like a more glossed over color. Um, but basically... I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be too small by the look of it for my freaking man hands. But I really like, I don't know, I just really like to feel it. Um, the more the more I was playing around with it, the more I liked it. Um, just super lightweight, um, tiny. It's not a super long shaft. It's a good, like, little tiny attack shaft, especially for me since I'm, I'm kind of, like, bigger. Um, I'm taller. I usually like a longer shaft, but the more I got used to it, like, the more I kind of, like, liked the security of, like, a smaller shaft. Um, yeah. So, basically, I like it. 
I was pleasantly surprised. All right, so back to the A1. Um, so I start off this brine A1. Um, yeah, so first off, it's kind of like a pink at the top dye, and then a purple, and then the marbly white. I don't know, I just went to town. Um, <laughs> so it is legal, I like it. I'd play with this, except I can't, because I'm in Canada. And yeah, I really like the colors. The colors were something that would pop, and with the gray on the side and the pink. And um, this um, Carolina Blue, I've been using that a lot. It's Jim Lack's Carolina Blue Cross Lace. Um, really like it. Yeah. Pretty simple. It goes super well with the, sh with the uh, shaft, I think. Um, let me know what you guys think of that die job and string job. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it. Um, I'd be willing to sell it. I don't know. We'll see if you guys are interested. Um, something else I did with the dye was little hearts on the inside, because, ah, uh, so cute. <laughs> um, just, like, more detail. So the hearts and the marbling right there. Alright. So that's basically it. Overall, I really like their shafts. I'd be totally interested in trying the, like, mail box slash field version of it. Um, I totally think you guys should check them out. Um, just search your Instagram, check on Facebook. Um, if you don't know how to spell it, it's right there. Crazy uncap for the win. Um, yeah, I suggest you guys check them out. If you haven't heard of them, go for it. Um, there's nothing wrong with trying new equipment, and there's nothing wrong with trying a brand that maybe no one else on your team has. You never know. Um, especially with the oval shaft, there's definitely nothing wrong with trying this. Uh, you will definitely be pleasantly surprised on how it feels in your hand. I give you that. So, um, I should have another video right after this. So, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.